Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make cookie dough fat bombs. And we will share one of our favorite recipes right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So when a lot of times when people get started on the keto diet, one of the things they really miss is their sweet treats. And these fat bombs just provide just a little bit of sweetness in your day. Yeah. One of the things I do like to tell people is when you first get started on keto, don't immediately start making all of the keto cookies and the cakes and buying all of the like pre-made treats because you're trying to get away from all of those carbs that you used to eat. And if you start eating a lot of the pre-packaged keto treats, which are great for sustainability, later on down the line yeah um, but if you do start trying to eat them now it's gonna make it that much easier to jump back into your old lifestyle and we don't want to go backward we want to go forward but with that being said sometimes you just need that little sweet treat or sometimes you just need some extra fat to help satiate you to your next meal I need it I need <laughs> it and when I got started one of the things that really helped me was making fat bombs so today's recipe is is a really delicious fat bomb. It kind of reminds you of the old things that you ate, but it's gonna give you a bunch of extra fat and it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I got a question for you though. What? Is it easy to make? It is very easy to make. How easy? It is so easy, even Rachel can make it. Seriously? That easy. Okay, let's get this started. So let's go over the ingredients. The first thing we're gonna need is some almond flour. Okay. Then we're going to need a stick of butter. All right. And we're going to need some cream cheese, okay. a whole block. We're gonna need some vanilla. Mm -hmm. We need some stevia. Then we're gonna need, this is optional. I personally don't use it, but some people may wanna up the sweetness a little bit. Some erythritol. Then we're gonna need some chocolate chips if you wanna add them in there. But for me, cookie dough has to have chocolate chips. Yes. So we're gonna use lilies. Then you have an option. Okay, we're gonna use peanut flour. Oh, wow. But if you don't have peanut flour, you can just use some peanut butter, which we'll show you how in a minute. But if you're gonna use peanut butter, make sure you're getting the all natural stuff. The only ingredient should be peanuts. You don't wanna get anything that's got like added sugar or oils or anything like that. What a concept. <laughs> Peanut now, butter from peanuts. One thing I do want to say about natural peanut butter, a lot of times people are like, well, how come this one has lower carbs? If the only ingredient is peanuts, they should all have the same carbs. Don't pay attention too much into what the label says because you really got to look at what the serving size is. Plus, they do get to manipulate those numbers a little bit. But yeah. the only ingredient is peanut. A peanut is a peanut and a peanut. It's not like there's a one peanut that's got lower calories than another one. He's a funner peanut. <laughs> okay, now I did want to mention real quick, when we first started making this recipe three years ago, I used to use this. Mm -hmm. I no longer use this because it does have some sugar in there. If you don't mind having the little bit of sugar in there, you can use this instead and you're gonna do the same amount of this that you would for your peanut flour. Okay. The peanut flour is just the better option though. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's push this all to the side. I've already got everything pre-measured out for you. I love that. Okay, we're gonna start off, we've got a bowl. Got a bowl. And to that bowl, we're gonna put two thirds of a cup of almond flour. And we're gonna go two tablespoons of our peanut flour. Now, if you're going to use, again, PB Fit Powder, same thing, two tablespoons. If you're using peanut butter, you're not gonna do this step because it's all gonna, you're all you're doing right now is trying to combine all of the dry ingredients. And if you're gonna use erythritol, you would add that at this point as well. Last thing I'm gonna use is a half a teaspoon of salt just because I wanna have some salt with my sweetness. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and combine all of that. Okay, that's good. Okay, you ready? So now to that, we're going to add an entire stick of butter 
an entire block of cream cheese and you want to have this at room temperature so make sure it's nice and soft. Let's get this party started. Then we're going to add Whoop. a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of stevia. Now if you don't like stevia, you can use erythritol. You would use two thirds of a cup. I prefer stevia for two reasons. Number one, no sugar alcohols, which means less total carbs. And also, I really just want a fat bomb. I don't want it overly sweet because I'm trying to get away from the sweet stuff. Trying to get rid of that sweet tooth. Okay, now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our beater and just combine this really well. Okay, that's good. To that, we're going to fold in one serving of the Lily's chocolate chips, and we're using the small ones. And again, all you wanna do is just kinda mix them in. It doesn't, there's not like a big science to it or anything like that. Okay, so that's it. All we have to do now is scoop it out. You're done. See how easy this one is? That was really easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cookie sheet. I'm gonna give you the cookie scoop, and we're shooting for 18 scoops. So what I like to do is just fill it in and then level it off. Okay, so that's 18. So this is what we have now. And basically they're little fat bombs. Yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these into the freezer five, 10 minutes. All we wanna do is get everything to solidify back up. Well, it's been about 15 minutes. Plus a week. Plus an extra week or so. And what ended up happening was we put them in the freezer so they can harden up so we can shoot this part of the video. Eaten. And the kids got a hold of them. Our kids ate them. They ate them all before we can shoot this video. So we had to make another batch. Isn't that like a testimony that they're good though? Because they're not even keto and we can't keep them in the fridge. Yeah, as soon as we make them, they ate them. And actually when we made them before, we had 36 of them. And within a day, they were all gone. Because they're tasty. So we made another batch and they even got their hands on this batch. So we figured let's shoot this part of the video right Quick. now before they go away. So this is what we've got. There's 15 out of the 18 left. <laughs> and this is what they look like. And I'll kind of give you guys a close up of it. So it literally looks like a little cookie dough fat bomb. Yeah. Almost like a bonbon. I, I remember when you bon were a kid, bon. I used to eat bonbons all the time. Those yeah. chocolate covered bonbons. Very similar to that. Um, now remember, the ones that we made, these are not gonna be very sweet. I only put some stevia in it. Now if you want them really sweet, you can always add in some allulose, some erythritol. If you want that little bit of grainy, like from the erythritol, yes. like a sugar, use erythritol. Sometimes that's really nice. Sometimes it's really nice. I just prefer to have it a little bit less sweet to get me like away from that sweet tooth kind of thing, but still give me the fat. And also, you know, the allulose, the erythritol, all that stuff is gonna up your total carbs on them. I like to have them with just a cup of coffee. Keep my coffee black and then be able to have a little, you know, cream. Yeah, you can even take one of these and drop them into your coffee. Blend it up. Blend it up and it'll give it a nice flavor because you're basically putting butter and cream cheese in your coffee. It's an instant keto coffee. Yeah, so now the way we like to do it is we take these. They're not very shelf stable. You can't keep them out on the counter. You're gonna have to put them in either the refrigerator or the freezer. So we just put them in like one of these little airtight containers. These are the lock and locks. We get them off of QVC. They need a real lock on them. And yeah, we keep these now in the freezer. Too convenient. Because it's a little bit, takes a little bit longer to eat when it's in the freezer. Yeah. So, so let's quickly go over the nutrition on these. If you break it down into 18 servings the way we did, it's going to work out to be each one is going to be roughly 118 calories, 12 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein. It's 2.3 total carbs with 0.6 grams of fiber. So it's going to be about 1.7 net carbs. And again, that's if you're only using stevia as the sweetener. It's easy to make and it's just 100 calories, it's it's just enough to take the edge off. And again, it's got a lot of fat in it, so it's going to help you hit your fat macros, it's gonna help you if you just need a little something to get to your next meal, or if at the end of the day, you want a little treat, but you don't wanna overdo the sweets. This is the perfect option. Sometimes I need a reward for adulting. <laughs> All day long. Now again, like we said earlier, you can kind of change this up. If you don't want to use the peanut butter, you can take out the peanut butter. You can add in some other things. You can keep out the chocolate chips. 
You can substitute peanut butter for the peanut butter flour, or you can even use PB fit powder. So pretty much the sky's the limit when it comes to this recipe and the way you can change it up. I need it. I need everything in there. Do not take out the peanut butter. Do not take out the chocolate chips. I need it all. Or you could be like Rachel and just leave it as is. All of it. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor. Let us know down in the comment section uh, if you make these and also let us know what kind of other add-ins you'd put into your fat bomb. Yeah, add. Add. The word is add. Add more. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time. Bye. bye.